Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're gonna fasten up this one terabyte external hard drive that I have put on a Insignia dock. It has a separate uh, power. You will see why that's relevant later. But as per now, its speeds are, are not mediocre. Let me try. Uh, these two videos are roughly 500 megabyte, megabyte, 461, and around 500 this one, 585. Let's try to transfer it. Uh, it transfer up to 150 megabyte per second, which is not bad at all. It's not bad. I can't complain. But what if I told you that we can make this even faster? And for that, we're going to need to go to Disk Manager. When you type disk on your uh, start search, you will go to Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. It will open back to this one here. Now, when we're here, what we're going to do is scroll down and find our disk. Uh, you can do it to your other hard drives or disks inside. It depends on what you want to do, but for this uh, demonstration, I'm going to do it only to my external. If you click right here inside this uh, space and you click properties, it will not take you to where we need to be. It will give you just the regular properties. You have to click on the uh, part that says disk 11 basic and gives you the info right click go to properties and then we get the properties we are looking for at these properties here we go to policies this policy quick removal format this is basically microsoft reserving a part of the cache or whatever you call that of the hard drive almost bottlenecking it so if you pull it out without safely removing it or power goes out, it has an extra layer of safety on your device, on your hard drive, so your data doesn't get corrupt. In this case, I already have it uh, powered externally, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And I have all my devices put on a UPS or the backup battery, so that's not going to be an issue. Instead of quick removal, we qu click better performance. Then we click right cache caching policy you enable that that if you are powered externally you have it on an external dock you click turn off windows right cache buffer and you click ok after you have enabled all these three all this tutorial all you see in this tutorial please do it under your own responsibility I am not responsible for any data corruption or lights going out in your house and the data gets corrupted, that is not, not going to be my fault. Just take it with your own precautions. Click OK. Now the disk will remove itself and come back in. We have nothing else to do there. We open our Explorer, go to the PC, and we find that one terabyte disk that we have right here now. Let's try to transfer the same videos. Video number one. Did you see any waiting time? And video number two. Did you see any waiting time? Let me try both of them at the same time. Right here. Did you see any waiting time? No, you did not. Because this hard drive right now is on steroids. Is on steroids. So I just let me delete these and let me put the out. Put part of it, boom. We put this, boom. And these two files together are just over a gigabyte. And let me put them back in just to make sure that this is not a fluke, but this is really working. So, or in a scenario that you're afraid to lose data and maybe you live in a place that electricity goes in and out, you use this option that we just learned here with the cache and all that stuff, right? Let me do it again for you. Use it when you're transferring large amounts of data from your computer to that hard drive or from that hard drive to your computer or to another drive. After you're done doing all that and you know you, you're not going to have a lot of data moving around for a while, well, you just go back to that disk, properties, click policies, and uncheck these two options. Go to quick removal so we reverse everything. We go X and let's test 
the same videos now. Those are just raw videos that I had made a uh, long time ago. Let me try one of them. Okay, now we are at the disk here. And let me transfer that same exact video, 500 megabytes. As you see, it takes time. Because now we don't have those options on. And with that said, I hope you learned something. And I hope it helps somebody out there. Just be cautious that you are removing some extra safety layers that Microsoft has provided. I did it to some of my hard drives, which are actually internal. I did it to some external 10 terabytes, and uh, it worked better for me. As you see here, you see it's... Uh, I did not turn off this part. I'm going to turn it off right now. As you see, I have them enabled for myself. I hope this helped you out there, and thank you for watching. If you don't mind to like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, I have nothing to say to you. Bye!